بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اوکٹر اسپیس از اے پرٹیکولر ٹائپ آف ا نان ایمٹی سیٹ بائی ا پرٹیکولر ٹائپ آف نان ایمٹی سیٹ وی مین دیٹ دس از ا سیٹ وچ سیٹسفائز 10 پراپرٹیز وچ وی ول اسٹڈی ان ڈیٹیل شارٹلی ٹو پرو دا فرسٹ فائیو پراپرٹیز we take all elements from inside v and they are called internal properties and to prove the last five properties we take some elements from another set which is called field and they are called the external properties in most cases we consider that a field is a set of real numbers or complex numbers the elements of a field are called scalars we denote them by a b or c the elements of a vector space v are called vectors we denote them by u w and s to show that a non empty set v is a vector space we shall verify 10 properties the first property is the closure property under addition which means that if we add any two elements of v the resultant element must be inside v the second property is the associative property which means u plus n to w plus s will be equal to u plus w plus s the third property is that, that there must be an additio identity inside v which means there will be an element inside v when we add that element to any other element of v we will get the same element the fourth property says that there will be additio inverse of each element which says that if there is an element u of v then there must be an other element minus u inside v such that if we add minus u with u we shall get the additio identity the fifth property is the commutative property which says that u plus w must be equal to w plus u now if a set satisfies the first four properties that set is called a group and now if it satisfies the first five properties then that set is called an abelian group the sixth property is the closure property under scalar multiplication which means that if we take an element from the field and any element from the vector space and we multiply them the resultant element must be inside v the seventh property is the associative property under scalar multiplication which means that a n to b u must be equal to a b n to u the eighth property is the identity which says that inside v there will be a scalar identity or multiplicative identity which means there will be a number such that when we multiply that number 
with any element of u of v, we will get the same element. The ninth property is the distributive property in which we take two elements from v and one element from the field. So it says a n2 u plus w is equal to a u plus a w. The 10th one is also the distributive property in which we take two elements from the field, A plus B, and one element from the vector space. And this is equal to A U plus B U. Now, if a set satisfies these 10 properties, we will say that set is a vector space. We can see that the first property and the sixth property are similar. The second property and the seventh property are similar. The third property and the eighth property are similar. In this example, we show that R square is a vector space. Hence R square will satisfy all the 10 properties of a vector space. So the first property is, let us take two elements, u, which is a one comma b1, and w, which is a two comma b2 from our square. Now, if we add u with w, we will add first element with first and second with second, and we can see the resultant element is also an order pair. So this belongs to our square and it shows that our square is closed under addition. Let us see the second property, which is associative property under addition. We take three elements, U, W, and S. Let us put values, first add W and S and then add u with this. Now arrange them in this way and we can see that this is u plus w and this is s. So u plus w plus s is equal to u plus w plus s. So associative property under addition is satisfied. The third property is inside B, we can see that A and B are real numbers. So A may be zero, B may be zero. So we can get zero comma zero. So inside R square, there exists an additive identity. Let us prove the fourth property. If we take any element U, which is A one comma B one from R square, there exists minus u in that r square. When we add u with minus u, we get additio identity. So it says that additio inverse of each element exists. Now let us see the commutative property. We add u plus w and then arrange the elements then we write in this form and now the first one is w the second one is u so the commutative property is satisfied in property number six we take an element from the field which is a set of real numbers and one element from v when we multiply these two elements we again get an order pair which shows that ku belongs to our square and V is closed under scalar multiplication. In property number six, we prove the associative property under scalar multiplication. So we take two elements A and B from field and one element U from the vector space. And we first multiply B with U and then we multiply A with this. Then we taking A, B as common and we get that a b into u. So the associative property is satisfied under scalar multiplications. Now property number eight is there exists a number one. When we multiply this number, when any element 
of V with the vector space. We get the same element, so multiplicative identity exists. Property number nine is associated to property in which we take two elements from the vector space and one from the field. First, we add these two elements, then we, then we multiply A, then we arrange them in such a way that we get AU plus AW. So the distributive property is satisfied. In the 10th property, we take two elements from the field and one from the vector space. Then we multiply A plus B with U and let us see what we can get. Multiplying A plus B with A1 as well as B1 and then we multiply A1 with each element and B1 with each element. And then we can arrange in this way, taking A common from the first one and B from the second one, we get AU plus BU. So property number 10 is satisfied. Since all properties of the vector space are satisfied, we will say that R square is a vector space. In a similar way, we can prove that R, R cube, R4, and up to Rn are vector spaces. In example number two, we are given a non-empty set V which contains all those polynomials whose degree is three. Let us see whether this set V is a vector space or not. So if it is a vector space, it must satisfy all 10 properties of the vector space. We are checking the first property, which is the closure property under addition. Let us take two polynomial from V. We denote the first polynomial by P1 of X, which we write 2X cube minus 3X square plus 4X plus 3. We can see this is a polynomial of degree 3, so it belongs to V. We are taking now another polynomial. Let us denote it by P2 of X. This is equal to minus 2X cube plus 3 X square plus 2X plus 5. And we can see this is a polynomial of degree 3. So it also belongs to the set V. Now let us add these two polynomials, P1 of X plus P2 of X. Adding these two polynomials, the first two terms will cancel. So we get 6X plus 8. And we can see this is a polynomial of degree 1. So it does not belongs to V. This implies the 8. V is not closed. Closed under addition. So the first property is not satisfied. This implies V is not a vector space. In example number three, W is a set which contains all those polynomials whose degree is less than or equal to three. We need to prove that W is a vector space. Let us write it in a simple form. W may be written like this one. It contains a polynomial of zero degree, a polynomial of degree one, a polynomial of degree two, a polynomial of degree three, Cx plus D, where we can say that A, B, C, and D, these are real numbers. So A may be 
zero. In that case, it contains the additive identity. Now we can prove that this set satisfies all properties of the vector space. So that is a homework. You can try this question. In example number four, we are given a non-empty set V, which contains only those elements of our cube, which satisfies this relation. And we need to prove that this set a vector, is a vector space. So the first property is the closure property under addition. Let us take two elements from this set. I will say u is equal to one comma one comma one is an element of V. Why this is an element of V? Because it satisfies this relation. Let us take left hand side of that relation. The left hand side is X minus two y square plus z power four. Now, if I put x is equal to one, y is equal to one, and z is equal to one, we get zero, which is a right hand side of that relation. So the element u belongs to the set v. Now we are taking another element, let us say W from that set. So I will write two, three, two. This element belongs to the set V. Why this belongs to the set V? Again, take left hand side of that relation. So this is X minus two Y square plus z power four and now substitute the values. So I will write x is equal to two, y is three, three threes are nine, nine twos are 18 plus two power four, two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight twos are is 16. So if I simplify this, we get zero, which is right hand side of that relation. So U and V are any two elements of the set V. We need to add these two elements, U plus W. So if we add, we will add first with first, this is three, second with second, and third with third. And now let us see whether this element is an element of V or not. So again, I'm taking the left hand side of that relation. The left hand side is X minus two Y square plus Z power four. And now let us substitute the values. So we have three here. And if I put four here, so we get minus 32 here. Now, if I substitute Z is equal to three, we get 81 here. If we simplify, we get 52. And this is not equal to zero. In other words, this is not equal to the right hand side. So this implies that U plus V does not belongs to V, which means that V is not closed under addition. And this implies that V is not a vector space. That's all.